Hi guys, so long time no see and I've literally been off YouTube for about three or four months, probably longer. I think the last time I made a video must have been about March or April and literally the reasons why I'm going to give you guys a quick update and then I'm going to do a haul because I bought so much stuff recently. Um, basically the reasons why I haven't made a YouTube video is because I had so much going on in my life. I had my, I was finishing off my A levels, which were overall a very stressful, emotional period for me. I had no time for a social life, let you know, let alone do hobbies such as YouTube. Um, I've started uni. I've got a job. Um, I've just had so much going on. I've redecorated my entire house. And yeah, that's why you guys see this new setup because everything has changed. Um, yeah, and I feel like I've literally not been able to start YouTube again because I've had so many other things, so many other commitments, so much stuff to do. Even filming this video has, you know, has been a long time coming. I've literally had to fit this video into like 20 minutes. Um, so I don't want to ramble on for too long, but I hope you guys enjoy this background. I'm not sure what my schedule will be. I'm not sure if it's going to be one set of, uh, uploading a video once a week or twice a week. I'm not sure yet, um, but I'm really, really happy to be back. I'm just so grateful to have so many of you guys. Thank you to people who have emailed me, who have messaged me, who have, you know, who have you know asked me to come back on YouTube. Honestly, you guys mean the world to me, and um, yeah. Thank you so much. Anyway, let's get straight into the haul. So, um, I've been doing a lot of shopping and obviously I got a new job, so I have more money and yeah, I've been buying a lot of stuff. So let's get straight started. The first thing that I'm gonna do is clothes and at the end I'm gonna show you guys some shoes because I've been going crazy, especially with Topshop shoes. So, um, the first top which I bought, which was actually from a store called Stradivarius, um, I went on holiday twice whilst I wasn't on YouTube, I went to Rome and I went to Tenerife. And when I went to Tenerife, there's a store called Stradivarius, which we don't have here, where I live, we don't have it. I think there is one in London, but we don't have one here. Anyway, I bought the shirt, this green shirt. I will also do a try-on because I love when people do try-ons. Um, Anyway, so it's very, very creased right now because it li literally just got it out of the wash. But um, I'll try it on and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, yeah, it's just a simple green shirt. And I think this was about 15, 15 euros, maybe 19 euros. Um, so it wasn't too expensive. And I love shirts like this because you can literally wear them with everything. that I bought and everything's kind of just given me mismatch because I've literally just picked out the things that I can remember which I bought. Um, so anyway, I got these leggings from Adidas. So they're Adidas leggings but um, I actually got them from Topshop. So they're just plain leggings with straps at the side. These are so, so comfortable. Oh my gosh. Especially like at uni because I never make an effort at uni. So. I always wear these and they're just so comfortable and I think they're kind of stylish as well. I think these are £26, um, so they're relatively, you know, they're a decent price. Um, if you're a student you can obviously get 10% off at Topshop. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this. I've literally been wearing these every single day. I've bought is a denim skirt. This one I actually got from Primark. Um, it's just like a button down one. So yeah, this is what the skirt looks like. It was about eight pounds from from Primark. Um, I've not been buying too much from Primark because I'm trying to stay away from buying seasonal Primark things which once I put in the wash, it's absolutely ruined and I can't wear it anymore. But um, this I really, really like. I don't think you can, you know, if I put this in the wash, I don't think I can do that much damage with it. I can actually trust myself to wash this one properly. Next thing 
which I got was these mom jeans. I have been wanting mom jeans for the longest time ever, but I have um, a really big bum, big thighs and small waist, so mom jeans don't necessarily fit me very well. I find that if they fit me around my bum, then they're too big on the waist. Um, these ones are probably the best fitting ones that I have. Um, these are from Topshop. These are the Topshop mom jeans, and they're in this really nice uh, blue colour with a rip at the knee just there. Um, yeah, and they're really, really nice. These were £42. So, you know what Topshop jeans are like. They're not the cheapest, um, but they fit really nice. They look really nice. They they're tight but also loose at the same time and that's the look that I wanted. The basic thing that I bought from Topshop was this um, this grey dress and it's just like a simple grey dress with kind of, I don't know what this detail is but it's just kind of like wrap around kind of thing it makes your boobs really like full that's why i like it to be honest um and the high neck is really nice as well it's really flattering it's like a body shirt, and i don't think it was that expensive maybe like 20 pounds so it's not actually that expensive but um it's just a really nice basic thing which you know if you need a leather jacket i could put that green shirt on top i could wear a denim shirt um you know like you could wear you could wear this with a lot of things and that's what I'm trying to, you know, buy things that I can wear with a lot of things. <laughs> Zara, I've been loving Zara and um, yeah so the first thing which I bought was this lovely white top and um, it has that kind of like flute, is it called bell sleeve or flute sleeve, every company calls it a different thing but anyway the bell sleeve kind of 70s vibe, flowy, I absolutely love this top and I've actually still got the tag on it so this was £25.99, just a plain white blouse with bell sleeves it looks amazing on i love it i can't wait to wear this because i love white basic things and this is just like enough of a trend for me to just it's where it's a wearable trend for me whereas like i don't want to buy i like buying trends but i don't like to buy too many and i think this one with it being a white blouse is quite a classic but trendy piece do you know what i mean also from Zara, I got myself a leather jacket. I've been after a leather jacket for the longest time ever. And I'm quite picky when it comes to leather jackets. Like, it has to fit me properly. It has to be the right, like, it has to be a proper black. You know, you get some kind of wash black, then a uh, wash black leather. I don't like that. Um, and obviously, it has to have silver hardware. I obviously like the biker kind of feel. And it... Or, like a hundred percent has to have a collar. I don't like leather jackets which don't have collars, it annoys me. But anyway, I managed to find this one from Zara, it's absolutely gorgeous, and it was $49.99. So, um, you know, it's pretty standard, it wasn't cheap, but pretty standard for Zara. Um, they have like proper leather ones, this is just um, faux leather, so yeah, I didn't really mind. Um, and I really, really like this. The shoes and accessories i just want to show you guys my coat of the year literally last year i didn't buy a coat but this year i was like i need to buy a coat and the shearing trend has just got me going crazy um so i got this river island shearling jacket it's absolutely stunning i love it so much oh my gosh I bought one from Zara and it was like a white one, but it felt so horrible and it was so expensive. So then I took that one back and I, when I saw this one, I had to have it. It's like, 
a nice brown tan with white fur it's so soft on the inside it's soft on the outside it doesn't feel thick it's obviously not real shearling but it's so soft and it's just so nice i love the hardware i love all the little details here it's kind of a bit of a bike theme this was quite expensive it was like 80 pounds yeah it was like 80 pounds so it's quite expensive but i really really liked it and i know that i will wear this for years to come so yeah this is just what it looks like accessories and shoes and um, the first thing that I got which was also on holiday was just this really cute backpack from Stradivarius again this was maybe like 15 euros 12 euros 15 or 12 euros it was super cheap I've had it for quite a while it's so cute and I've been wearing it a lot you know the whole metallic trend this is so like trendy this is such a trendy piece but i actually quite like the color i think it's actually been surprisingly quite wearable before i get onto the top shop shoes i just want to show you guys a pair of shoes which i got from zara also when i was in tenerife i did a lot of shopping in tenerife half the stuff i can't remember but i remember these so i got these ones from zara and they actually came in a dust bag which i've never ever bought shoes from zara which came in a dust bag but I was very very happy to get them and these are quite classy these are like the Chanel knockoff shoes I take the insole out because I had to put insoles in because it's, these shoes are so uncomfortable um, but anyway they're these shoes from Zara so they're very 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 Chanel inspired and when I saw these I've seen a few bloggers like this either the Chanel's or these ones and I just think they look so classy they can be a little bit grandma but I really like them and they were like 20 25 euros or like 20 euros so they weren't too expensive at all like they're super cheap but they're not the most comfortable shoes that I have to put insoles in them I got them in my regular size but for some reason they're just really big and uncomfortable and I think I'm gonna have to get one of those things where you stick at the back so your feet doesn't, feet doesn't slide out onto the top shop shoes so i went a little bit crazy at top shop i have quite a few boxes of shoes of top shop shoes and it's getting out of hand anyway so the first pair which i got were these crazy bad boy boots these are so cute when i saw these when i knew that they're coming like i was just like I need to have them I've never had like leopard print shoes or anything like that but these is just a pair of leopard pink boots Um, I really like the color of the leopard print it's like a dark um, kind of brownie orangey color Um, I love the pointed detail on them my boyfriend says that they're like witch shoes I don't know what he's on about anyway Um, they're pointed which I really like they're very feminine the heel on them is not too high um, I can wear them for about 4 hours, like stood up 4 hours, not, stand, not um, sat down before they start hurting me. They're really nice shoes, they're definitely eye catching and these were £79. Continuing on with the boot theme, I also recently, like, five, like 3 days ago, I bought these gorgeous shoes. Topshop brought these out last year but um, I didn't manage to get them and I really wasn't that bothered but it's the whole sock sock boot trend you know um, boots that, are look, that go a little bit higher I really really love this trend and this has a nice block heel again and um, I've only worn these once but I think I can actually wear these ones longer than the leopard print one for some reason I'm not sure the leather on these is super soft um, and they're relatively comfortable and these again were £79 and I absolutely I'm in love with these shoes they are so nice the final pair of Topshop shoes that I got were these gorgeous oh my gosh these shoes are so nice these gorgeous peep toe boots so nice absolutely gorgeous um, 
got them in my regular size 7 if you're wondering what size they are, I'm size 7, I'm relatively tall so size 7 you know it doesn't look ridiculous on me um it's got a really nice zip detail the thing about these shoes is that the zip on them is really dodgy they like i nearly got stuck in these but the zip on these ones are a bit more durable i love these again they are real leather all three of these top top shoes are real leather and um, they smell amazing i love the smell of leather and they're really nice, they're just gorgeous shoes, they're so edgy and so, oh I just love these, when I saw these I had to get them, these were, so, these are originally £79 as well, so um, yeah, they're relatively expensive but you get what you pay, and I think Topshop heeled shoes are quite comfortable actually, compared to other stores like Zara, anyway that's my haul, I've been buying so much stuff, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll be uploading way more videos and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!